Why didn't you shoot? Sorry? Well, back there, Nathaniel could have had a gun. Could have killed me. Why didn't you shoot? I prefer to have all the information before I make a decision. I try to make rational choices when possible. Come on, you had a fraction of a second to react. You could have whacked me before you had time to move. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a tough guy. A street cop who's been through the mill. I didn't think you'd scare so easily. Why don't you fuck off, Norman? That's him. Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Don't just stand there, he's gonna get away! Ah! Hey man, watch it! Ah! Fuck is Blake? Shit! Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. Come on, show your ugly bastard face. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. Time it looks like we got our origami killer. Can't breathe this goddamn humidity. 
Hope it stops raining soon. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Sure. Let me take your coat. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. Didn't really expect to see her again. Wonder what she wants. Thanks. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important. 
but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. No sender. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Maybe you better stay in the car. We're partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wood tycoon from Kramer Construction. No, his son. You think maybe he's the Oregon killer? But now I just have a few questions that need answers. Kramer must be loaded. What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we going to be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm going to go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? Okay. Just let me know if you need me.
haven't seen Lauren for a while. Better see what she's up to. You okay? I really don't like this place. Did you find out anything? I want to get out of here. Not yet. Gordy's a hard man to meet. Well, I'm going back in. Hang tight. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm going to have to go about it some other way.
<laughs> Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw it. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Now be a nice guy and tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on the chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of Having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me.